So episode three will get the end of the conjuring and um, the beginning of whatever up the next movie is tomorrow, I guess. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Ransom. There are six episodes total. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sharpbreaker. FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. He's anxious to see you. He better come. Nightingale is from okay. Control. I'll be right over here. Oh, it's talked about in Control. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. My name's Randolph. I'm the <coughs> manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose. Sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, there's six episodes. There was an um, island there. I don't remember if, a, if there was a reason for that back when it came out. Because this is an old game. This is an Xbox 360 game that they just recently remastered. couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. That's so weird. But I, mean, I guess, like, we're starting to see where, like, control comes in, right? <sighs> Man, I'm getting tired. Better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. They were sure, lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the Looking part. for All of thermoses. All about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. <sighs> Is that it? She just had some kind of breakdown? That's all you got from Barry? <laughs> Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. <laughs> she never wear anything else. She's always wearing his uniform. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. From you to inspire The end of The Conjuring. For Barry, she doesn't have anything. Yeah. Demands uh, her to reveal yeah. herself. Oh, what's... Oh. This is actually the end of the conjuring now. They're they're digging up the floor. What? Oh, Wake got uh poisoned.
It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. <coughs> Turn the lights on where? <laughs> Shit. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get... Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her better. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they've been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Get to the car. Oh, come on, let me get it. Oh, you're going to get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are. Oh man, the fucking frames. That's the first time I've seen really bad frames on the PS5. Oh, now they're trying to kill me too? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. I'm gonna run right through your thing. Oh, they moved it. I was gonna run through your light, motherfucker. Oh, damn. Flares. I think we've escaped the police. Oh, there's a the manuscript page. For decades, the darkness that wore Barry <coughs> Jagger's skin seemed to in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to again. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay. So there's a darkness here in this town.
mean, I'd like a flashlight. Oh no, I wanted that light. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Well, I'm pretty sure Nightingale also offered a monster. But why do they why are they so like freaked out at first? And why was that one guy? They've been in there with that girl for a long time. Who gives a shit? We didn't do anything there. Come check on us, asshole. But, like, and then they bring a helicopter all of a sudden? Conjuring, pretty good movie. Um, I'm a big, I'm, I'm a good fan, big fan of that series. Good. Um, ghost movies um, have just recently become a reasonable thing for me to watch. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. I mean, not a reason. Reasonable is probably the wrong word, but um, something that I've enjoyed watching. You know, this is the first time. You know, recently, uh, ghost movies I have been. That the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. All right, what we got over here? I think I just like happened upon some things by accident. Like, I didn't go over here first to look at this. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again.
the the conjuring i think is a really solid movie for what it is um ghost movies just aren't like when i was a kid you know i didn't believe in ghosts and a lot of that i think is stems from like my lack of belief in religion because you know if you believe in ghosts then you believe in an afterlife and you believe in like all the things that come along with that Since I have a lack of, you know, belief. It took me a moment to recognize the flash of grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Since I kind of have this lack of belief in religion um, and lack of belief in the afterlife as a child, you know, ghosts weren't really a thing. It wasn't like, oh yeah, someone died and like... See ya. You know. That wasn't the case, you know. I mean, it wasn't like a, a case of like, oh, I believe in zombies. So, I don't know. It's just... Silent Fury blasted four taken into ashes of the single flash ring. That's a big guy, that's all that really matters. Uh, ooh, there's a... How many of these have I missed, by the way? Oh, shit. Touched by the dark presence. It's either a lot, a or this is like Everything a... Is drawn in black yeah, and gray grass. Jesus. <laughs> the old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. But yeah, I don't know. I I thought that I like. I don't know. As I'm getting older, like I can see the value in believing in religion. There's a police. Let's go to the police cruiser.
Okay, I think we're doing okay. This is a, a, a radio stations up here. Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, as I'm getting older, I think there's... You know... Um... You... You can see the value in... Believing in religion, right? Believing in an afterlife. Um, when I was younger, thankfully, you know, knock on wood, and even now... Um, again, knock on wood, you know, I haven't had to deal with loss in my life. Um, you know, I haven't had to deal with losing my parents or anyone, you know, my grandparents even. Um, I hope Maine could my main grandparents, I lost my, my dad's parents, but I was never close with them. Um, and so, you know, I've I've never really had to deal with someone who I was, losing someone who I was close with, and so now that I'm getting older, and you know, it's, it's like it, you know that it's inevitable now, obviously, um, which is a terrible thought to have, you know, because you you see all these other people and you think about how you know how they struggled you know, with some of that stuff, and you learn to grow from it. And you learn how to have some. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. <coughs> Come on in, Mr. Wake. <coughs> oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to continue it after Wake. this. Nowhere to run now, James Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here. Right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. <laughs> so, you know, I know that the people in my life aren't going to live forever. And that that's, that's a terrifying concept to me. Because... You know, I talk to my my I parents. I up so many cliffs; it was ridiculous. That's what you every, get for naming a book. Every day. Stop. It was probably um, good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to leave. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free. Marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. The cops and find my own way to the mine. No, um. <coughs> I've never had to deal with anything like that. I talk to my grandparents like once a week. Uh, my mom's parents. So, you know, the, uh, <coughs> they're getting up there in age. And so, you know, it's just one of those inevitable things. And the point of this story is talking about how, you know, you have to kind of have to come to terms with <clears throat> mortality and um, it could be your, you know, your own mortality or um, it could be your own mortality it could be people around you's mortality and that's a that's something that I think everyone has to <coughs> uh, 
uh, learn to live with. And, you know, I'm not sure exactly. I think I'm going the wrong direction. I'm not sure exactly how. <clears throat> I don't know how people deal with it when they're younger. Um, because as as I'm older, I guess maybe if you're younger, you don't understand as much the 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 ramifications of it. Um. Also, you don't know that like you don't know what you're missing almost. As a as an adult, I am I going the right way? I think I'm going the wrong way. <coughs> you know, as an adult, I am I lean on my parents a lot. I talk to my mom about. Hey, what's this thing? My daughter's doing this weird thing. Like, blah, blah, blah. Can you come over and help me out with some stuff? Had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget. He knew we had to try. Okay, interesting. So that means all that all I do is come up here for that thing, which I'm like, I'm glad, I'm glad we came to get it. I'm a little upset there wasn't more junk up here, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, and I mean that's just and so. I mean that's just something that I've you know will have to deal with eventually, and seeing the value in believing in religion, you know obviously I was never taught to believe in anything, and <clears throat> you know I'm Typically a man of science. So, you know, it's hard for me to think. I'm like, okay, well, you know, maybe there's an afterlife. Maybe there's something else. You know, maybe there's just nothing. Maybe, like, maybe there, maybe there is an afterlife. You know, some sort of afterlife. Maybe there's, maybe there's nothing, you know. Evolution, science is just, you know, we're just a big ball of electricity, and then one day, you know, <coughs> our battery's out, and we're done for. I think that's a sobering feeling that believing in religion, religion kind of takes that sober feeling away from you. that dude I'm out of bullets it's not good there was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here it was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use I like massive heartburn and I've been taking I took two of the
Because you believe in the afterlife, right? So you're like, okay, well, it it's okay to have lost someone close to me because I'm I'm gonna see them again. I'm gonna we're gonna be there together. Um, we're gonna be together again in the afterlife, and I think that's. Um, I think that's an important thing to have as you get older. <coughs> um, and I wish I could believe it, you know? That's one of those things where, like, yeah, I truly wish that I could believe <coughs> in a higher entity, a higher power. Because, you know, if, if that's important. <coughs> the bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. I hesitate to take another one of these pills, but I might have to. I'm just like dying over here. But I really need like some water or something, but I don't have anything near me. And I'm, I don't want to take a break because I'm going to probably end here in about 15 minutes. That's my guess. It depends on how I feel. I mean, it could be my, my body just telling me, hey, it's time to stop. But <coughs> you know. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong. What was the smell of stale booze? It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank. The look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, <coughs> how did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. That's the train. <coughs> I don't know what the lithium batteries are. But whatever. Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. You're about to play your game? Nice. Please help me. What are you taking? Just take some Tylenol or something? I'd broken. connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had Fuck called yeah, me. Fuck she's wrong. She's a big ball of fucking nuts. I want to call him Nathan Drake instead of Alan Wake. Flare gun's where it's at, though. For real. <coughs> nope, not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. I'll take them all out. <coughs> did he load it? He, he did not reload it. I'm gonna need that eventually. That was a bad... It was hurting last night, it was hard to sleep. Yeah, I mean, you need to get a get it looked at if it's hurting that bad.
pipe wrenched itself <coughs> loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object so. lurched at me with impossible. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a, I threw a downer conversation and everything, but. Just but... Barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Yeah. I could see a railway bridge up ahead <coughs> and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car. My teeth hurt every once in a while. They don't hurt, like, all the time, but... Follow. Yeah, you get your teeth taken care of. That's why it's important. Like, I didn't like going to the dentist, but I know that, like, I need to go every once in a while to get my teeth checked so that I don't have issues from my the teeth hurting and stuff. Shit. Get inside. Get to the next checkpoint. I think that's it. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me <coughs> to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to save the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the <coughs> with me. It took x-rays, yeah. We're not close to getting to the end of this chapter. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but... The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Where you guys at? Come on. Reload my weapon. Let's go. What do you got up here? We got a thermos. Damn good coffee. 25 coffee thermoses. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I wish I could believe in. Um, and you, know, it's just, you just can't sometimes. You can't force yourself to believe in something that is against everything. And, like, you know, you have, like, the faith. <coughs> like, you gotta have faith in everything, and, like, that's hard to do. Like, I don't have, like, you know, that's, it's, just, it's just, that's a hard thing to have to deal with and cope with. Having faith in people, humanity, like, it's hard to trust people. And, you know, like, like, we've talked about, like, you know, 
talked about it here. Like, I have, like, I have, like, no faith in humanity. You know, there are, there are good people out there, uh, potentially, you know. And there are stories of good people, but are the good people anecdotal, or are the bad people anecdotal? In light, you can hurt them. Because, <coughs> you know, there's a lot of bad people in the world. And so it's like, which side rules overall, you know? And I think you can see that with the way that the world is run, is that you know, the people in power, you know, good doesn't beat evil. And I think that's one of those things that causes a, causes a problem with me in particular trying to have faith and trying to believe in a higher power is that, you know, it's very clear that evil is winning in the world. Like, there may be good good moments, but <coughs> it's not. Sebastian, how's the audio? Can you hear the game pretty good while I'm talking? just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Find a vehicle. Everything's in here. Alright, that's good. Thanks. Flare came in handy. But, I don't know. I read the news every day, and not every day. I read the news every couple of days, and I'll go through and read headlines, and then I'll read like the comments on stuff, and it's just like it just blows my mind how like there's there's such a big gap between two sides, right? And, you know, what I consider good and what I consider evil. Um, and I think the worst part about it is that it's all kind of like evil is kind of reasonable, in you know, at some points, you know? It's like like, hey, we shouldn't do this, but it's like, well, like, yeah, we think this, and the other side has some kind of point, you know? Oh my god. Excuse me. And I think that's... I think that's honestly the biggest problem that I have right now. With just about anything. Is that, like, there's... <coughs> things, things aren't, you know, evil wins. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Yo, what's up with the fucking frames? This is the wild. Line wasn't far now. Alan Wake. No? Oh, okay. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. So, I don't know. You know, like... I, 
I'm, I'm very pro, you know, I'm pro choice. I'm pro choice um, in terms of, you know, abortion. And, you know, one of the things that I always try to do, you know, I, I'll also, you, you know, my opinions are my own, and, like, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion, and, like, honestly, as long as you have a reasonable, you know, as long as you can reasonably explain your opinion, um, and I'm willing to have a, have a discussion about it, then, like, I'm not, I don't have a problem with, you know, anything you believe in, like, if you're just, like, your tooth hurts when you bend over? Are you sure? Like, that, feel, that feels like that, 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 not something with your tooth, man. Some more driving, I guess. But yeah, so like abortion, like I can, I can see how the pro-life side sees it. I, I understand their, their argument, and it's a compelling argument, right? You know, you have, <clears throat> you have the pro-life side that says, you know, it, you know, the, the grouping of cells is is a is a life and an abortion is killing that life um, and that's a valid argument like but I think there's a heavy disagreement on the validity of the validity of that statement the <coughs> You know, you have a, there, there's a disagreement on when a life becomes life. And I think that is the main argument here, right? Does a life become a life at, you know, when, when there's a heartbeat, does a life become a life when are the cells alive? Like, is that... Is that the issue? You know, like, what... I think that's kind of where... God, there's a bug biting me. But it's not, it's just my ring is, like, acting funny. Um, and so I think that, that argument is... Uh, you know, a valid, a valid argument to have, not necessarily like a valid argument. I was early. I was supposed to, to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. <clears throat> but you know, it's an idea, and you know, I, as a scientist, as a, as a science-loving person. You know, I that's not something that I feel like is With Nightingale gone and the night wind <coughs> blowing in through the for me to decide. Show, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants weight for a reason, and it's not for anything good. I didn't want to go outside. <laughs> Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. <coughs> Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I tortured the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on the blue. Oh, it's dark again. 
It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Jerked around you by you. see your wife alive, cause if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? <coughs> I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? I ain't the only way out of here. I'm gonna kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Is there another way out? Oh. Maybe closer than ever before. Am I jumping down here? Okay. That wasn't what I expected, but okay. I kind of want to just try to finish this chapter, but I don't know how long this chapter is. I don't want to. I just don't want to be up all night long. I think that's the problem. Is that I don't want to be up for like another hour. The last one was an hour, was an hour and a half. So I imagine there's probably maybe half an hour left of this. <coughs> but I don't know. I'd look it up, but it'd probably take longer to look it up than just to keep trying to play. I mean, I'm, oh, th damn, there might actually be a lot left. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Let's see. There might actually be quite a bit left, but we'll, we'll, we'll continue to go on. We'll continue to... Oh, shit. Okay, that was wild. The flashbangs are where it's at. That's what we really need. Crowd control. Uh, I don't have any flares. That part's kind of...
bad boy. Flares, always good. Always good for the flares. Let's do it. What the hell? It's knocking trees down. Oh shit. Whatever it is, I don't want to be near it. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Where there's a car. Checkpoint meet with flare gun ammo. Even better. <clears throat> I don't know what we're talking about, but Go, 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 just go, just run, just run, get inside. Everything's okay now that you're inside. I hope. I hope. It's like for little black shits on the floor. Uh, there's like some asbestos in here floating around. Batteries, always a pleasure. Good. Big fan, big fan. Back and forth. Soon waste too many too many bullets there. Um this game. Okay. Interesting. Like that wasn't that wasn't what I was expecting to happen there. But I'll I'll live with it. Follow. Some of the tapes <coughs> seemed echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of dead things. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. 
But for anything more elaborate, Getting tired. as with the writer, it was different. It <coughs> made his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Did I get whatever was over here? Yeah. It says follow, I guess I'll follow. stuff there. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard <coughs> power company equipment. So far, so good. I think I don't want to go this way, but kind of feel like maybe there's something cool over here. Nope, there's nothing. The other thing that's annoying is they introduced the. I gotta get this game. This game really needed a lot of work, I think, in terms of. <coughs> game design just in general um because I mean this is a really good game and everything I'm, I'm happy with it I'm having fun but there's a lot of things I think could have been improved from a more logistical sam oh shit <laughs> standpoint like they introduced the bear traps right down quite a bit of our ammo, but I think we'll be alright. Well, they introduced the bear traps and then haven't used them again the entire, like, in 20-30 in minutes. And, like, that's uh, over an hour, probably. At least over an hour. Because it hasn't been in this episode. And so, I mean, like, that's something that's really... something that's really poorly done from a gameplay perspective is like don't introduce something and then don't use it again like I get it if it's like a specific for like that area with that level I steered but the I mean chase. even then that's kind of very, very looking as ill as I felt very lame Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with <laughs> Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he glanced. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. 
all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. So, I mean, this is interesting. I think the the manuscript pages are an interesting piece of the puzzle because they tell you so much backstory of what's going on, right? I think that's why they're so good. Oh, there's a, there was a thing up there. I actually don't have to go this way. It's all for funsies. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um, and we got a bunch of ammo. We got a bunch of flare gun stuff out of it. I hate that. I hate that when you pick up a gun, it automatically equips it. Like that's so annoying to me. Like I'm sure that's fine. Like it's fine, but like that part, that's really annoying to me. kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. I feel like it's this way. Like, I feel like this is a manuscript page over this way. But yeah, I mean, it's good. It gives you a nice, like... I'm assuming you have to go this way. I don't even know where the other guy went to. Good gameplay elements in this though. I just think I think they needed some better. They had some better choices they could have made. Is what I'll say. In terms of like what they included, what they didn't include. Come on, that was horse shit. Alright, I think we're almost I no there. Plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. I mean, can I go this way?
There's a house over here. So the house is going to have a manuscript or a thermos. So far, so good, I think. Oh, shit, I think I need to go nowhere. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I think I need to go up that way. Uh, but here's the here's the light that I just died on a minute ago. Get up this hill. I feel like you could probably just run up the hill to this point. You probably could just ran up here and got the checkpoint. It's coming. Something's coming. The dark Ooh, presence okay. was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Very late, guys. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. What's in here? Thanks, boss. Don't need the batteries. Checkpoint reach, though. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. I think the dog pooped in the house, which is really unfortunate because I'm going to clean that up before I go to bed. Oh, there's so many. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. I feel like there's still a long way to go in this chapter. Hmm. 
come on, that hit the thing, you know it. That was dumb. Made the train engine run out of steam. So that was a boss fight, technically. Unofficially. Or maybe, maybe it was a boss fight. I don't know. It's in batteries, though. I'm running a lot of batteries all of a sudden. Safe haven. I needed a key for the oh, door. Oh, bullshit. Pick up the key. Like, this isn't even, like, a real... I need a key for the door. It's literally right around the corner. Like, make me go back across the thing or something. Go somewhere else to get the the key. Oh, the flare gun is what I should have used. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from the magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing... Nope. Get the fuck out of here. It's coming for me. Makes me remember, reminds me of Langoliers. That's a movie that I would love to watch on stream eventually. Langoliers. I feel like watching movies on stream is is good. Um, as long as I'm watching movies, like I feel like watching movies that I'm not super familiar with, it's kind of troublesome. I um, mean that that sucks a little bit. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Let's go over here. Picked up the flare gun ammo. Go back to our pistol, because, you know, pistols are good. I'm going to go to our shotgun. I'm going to keep the shotgun out. Shotgun seems to be working pretty fine for us. Um, and I never seem to use all my ammo. So, why not, you know? Birds. Exit the silver mine. Oh, gotta get this thing going this way. Yes, I'm going this way. Tunnels to Cauldron Lake.
Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Oh shit. I mean, we're coming up to an hour and a half in this episode. I'm coming, ladies. were big, thick-set men, confident and at home. Shit, how many of those things did I miss? Good, running on it's a lot of pages. Stories and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Well, that wasn't about Alan, though. Wait, did I come down here for no reason? I mean, I guess this is not the way to go. All the dust in here, though, is kind of gross. So I didn't want to go down. I mean, it kind of makes sense. the sound of that. Oh shit. There's a chainsaw deal. Let me find another chainsaw deal. Where'd the big guy go? Dog definitely pooped in the house. Three shotgun shells. We're all good. Alright, let's go this way. I half expect him to slide down. Because that's a mechanic that's in every game right now. This mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe it could. Maybe it could. I mean, even the puzzles in this game are like not. Like, that's not something I consider puzzle worthy. You know, this is just like go hit the button, raise it a little more, 
go hit the button and raise it a little more. It's like not, it's not rocket science. That's good. I felt, I felt good. I ran on the wrong side. God, my shoulders hurt. I think that's the thing that like sucks the most about playing for long periods of time. It's like I don't, I have terrible posture, and I sit on my feet. <laughs> so my shoulders and my hips tend to just hurt whenever I am sitting for long periods of time. I don't know why, I'm just so, I'm just so very uncomfortable sitting flat-footed. Um, I always want to have my legs crossed like whenever possible. Just, just a whole lot of, you know. Kick it down. Yo. And we're out of the mine. Am I going up or down? I'm going down, I feel like. But let's check out up real quick. Just for some shiggles. Hopefully there's a page up here or something. I'm hoping there's something up here. Give me a fucking thermos. Anything. Ah, page. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. So, I mean, we're getting, I looked, at, I looked at the walkthrough just to see how far we were. Um, we're getting closer. What was this? Slayers. We're getting close. Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. for me, which is fine. Checkpoint me. Good. Always important to have a checkpoint. Come on, birds. You're coming, I know it. I have like vague recollections of things that happen in this game.
one where I dropped all my shit. Didn't mean that, but I'll take it, I guess. I have a ton of ammo. Definitely more. There are two flashbangs left though. Should probably save at least one, but we're. Flashbangs, but that was good use for us. Probably should use a flare instead, but you know, it's all good. That was one of the few times that no one attacked me after I got one of those boxes. So naturally, we're gonna use the flare gun now. Mod had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. The boss wouldn't be happy. Alright, I think we're probably like five, ten minutes away from eating this and then going to bed. Not the hustle the bed. This wouldn't I don't think this would be so problematic if it wasn't like if I didn't have to... He didn't have to do that. He could have climbed up it. He fucking knows how to climb things. He's not an asshole. TV, Misty Tom, did you do this? Okay. Well, 
our ammo reached limit. We're almost out of <coughs> Ooh, shotgun ammo, so it's good. I feel like this game was intended, maybe it did come out in like pieces. I didn't play it in piece, in episodes. I oh shit, come on. ammo because don't have the hunting rifle but thanks for the advice Dave okay. let's go See Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. It had to be a boat. Maybe it did come out in peace. No, there's no way. I was close now. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I think the problem is that we didn't take a break tonight. I've recovered from my heartburn though, so that's good. All them out, almost out of heartburn mist. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Okay. I kind of want to do like a breakdown of like what this. I'm here! I'm coming! No! Get away! I'm sorry! Please, please! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I, I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have to. That's the end of episode three. So we're about halfway through the game now. Six episodes. Uh, so we'll be back tomorrow and have fun with it again. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Oh, Bye. Man.